Hey all, welcome to another FFT Arena live stream. It is October 14th, 2017. Uh, we have another live stream ahead of you, uh, another set of matches we all have today, as well as some ideas for 1.42a. Um, some of them are the same as I have read from before. I will be skimming over some different ideas um, that were said, and I will give my thoughts about them, that we're going to have something to talk about. Okay, so first off, we got Anima Zero's team on top, which is known as Who's Gonna Give It To Ya? Uh, that run that Run DMC song, I believe it's by Run DMC. X could give it to you. What? <laughs> Versus DW's team on bottom, which is known as Ultimate Cancer. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, we got Rex the Lancer, X the Mystic Knight. Gonna give it the Chemist to ya, the Oracle. Uh, not much else to really say about the team right now. It's just pretty much a physical team. Uh, punch out Overwhelm. Uh, one idea I d am going to address, actually, very quick, is that, let's see, right here. Spears no longer provide a 50% damage boost when used for jump skills. I'm guessing this is supposed to address the problem that people have with jump is that Jump when synchronized correctly can be really devastating. Yeah, like actual zodiacs, you're seeing this DW. Um, I guess it, it came from last stream that um, X Stasis' his team, um, X Stasis' his team pummeled Anima Zero's team, and I guess one concern that was brought up is that jumps just do way too much damage. I'm guessing that's the cause behind this suggestion. Me? Well, as long as it does not completely take away the Lancer's ability to um, do some high damage and jumps, you know, with Warpath and Overwhelm and stuff like that, um, that should be okay. It can at least... Uh, I mean, I'm okay with the slight nerf, but I, I don't want that to also completely take away the ability of Lancer's to jump for good damage, because we we wanted Lancers to be good again, right? I'm not, I'm not saying make them, you know, godlike, but good. Um, that aside, um, some jumps. What is Cancer the Scorpio? Good. They have good compat, DW, don't you know? Uh, and then Spin Fist, Way Fist, pretty much anything that can complement the Gaia Robe. Cool. Um... Similar idea of this guy. Uh, you know, Mystic Knight, Amp Spell, Shock, Amp Ice. Uh, was there anything about Mystic Knight that I should be aware of? Uh, here we go. Let's see. Spellbreaker becomes Weapon Rage and available. And move to Lore. Hmm. Miasma loses Undead but gains Oil. Mm, I'll talk. I'll talk about what I think about that during the match. But shock in a CT boost. Eh. I guess it is where it is because Midnight Knight really got buffed in this one because they were either rather average now really damn good. So shock. I think it was five CT last time. I could be wrong. Um, there's South and Cross. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Talk skill, dude. Um. He loves to talk shit and talk really fast. Um, blackmail Warm and McDeravon, and then just throw about items. Let's see. Um, White Knight suggested a change for Holy. CT increases to make sure it doesn't overshadow the faith based nukes. Okay. Extra point range really helped out the AI correctly using shock. So you're saying that with the extra point of range of shock, AI using it correctly, now you want to revert his CT. I, I think his previous CT was 5. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe his previous CT was 5. So you, you have to gamble between either attack up or short charge. Extra damage, or you want to go off faster. Um, and then your typical support oracle. Not much else to say. All right, so uh, for DW, we got CT5, the Monk. Doka Rider, the Paladin. Ultima, the Wizard. 
and more Ultima the Wizard. Yes, it is, Andrew. It is AZ's team because he wants to know who's going to give it to you. Yep, he is sporting a male uh, Mystic Knight. Um, and one of his other teams I do have ready, he has a female one. We'll get to that later. Um, Sniping Monk, attack up 40 Brave. I'm assuming cover fire because... Yeah, cover fire. Because there's some concern now that it's basically a better version of of axe melee damage. I'm guessing that's the concern. And that it comes, it goes off in an instant and it ignores Brave. So turn it Brave based and get it some CT should, um, in theory anyways, nerf it appropriately. I mean, we'll see. We'll see how that works. Um, but yeah, um, the other question I brought up is, should Cover Fire just be moved to a different skill set? Because let's not forget that Cover Fire is there to help archers get around Projectile Guard. Um, oh, uh, one thing I also forgot to comment. I'm going to comment right now since I was staring at it. Chi Blast loses instant proc. I'm indifferent to that. And then... Um, Oops, oh, sorry, it's got to blow my nose. Give me a second. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, oh, so, oh, me blow my nose sound like a trump trumpet? Uh-oh. Uh, something's up with my controller. Give me one second. Uh-oh. Uh, my controller froze up, so I'm going to have to restart the emulator. Just give me one second. Um, okay, the main problem cover fire is that you're able to crazy burst damage with little investment. Yeah, I suppose that's true. I mean, you can rack up PA, and then, as long as you have a reliable way of uh, restoring some MP, you can just go right back to cover fire. Or if you're, um, it, or if you're, or if you're able to, um, or if you're able to, uh, have regen work around it, then yeah. Plus, cover fire is really reliable. Quite reliable, in fact. Um, what constitutes shenanigan? A shenanigan is being able to dodge uh, something that otherwise should have hit you, or or some weird turn of events happen, like some weird uh, or some funny turn of events were to happen. Like um, if someone can link. To him, one of the previous streams, or just briefly mention um, anything that I'm referring to. That way, um, he gets the gist, because I do got to move along here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, where he basically just gets flat out lucky. And revives JP being, revi being increased to 200. Well, given the improved um, uh, HP resurrecting... Resurrection capability that Revive has, and I think it's got a slightly better vertical tolerance. I don't see that being a problem. At least not in my opinion. Um, yeah, like if you charm, so yeah, uh, exactly. You saw too. Like if you charm someone, then that other team members uh, charm one of their own team members, starting a charm chain, and then. Booyah, that's shenanigans. <clears throat> okay, um, the paladin here with talk skill. Let's see. Um, <clears throat> land hands, nurse transfuse, hollowed strike. This guy has one third of MP, so you won't have to worry about um, worry about running MP anytime soon. With move MP up as well, that's pretty decent. Blackmail solution and refute. Refute's an okay idea to remove status effects. 
Um, and decent evade all around. Yeah, not too shabby. Good HP, too. Tactician's Blade for, um... Yeah, I guess for less shenanigans can be funny, too. But also provoking. <laughs> as it can really cause someone to flip their shit. And then we got basically, um... Two wizards here. Primus twin sets. Uh, any black magic in this girl? Nope. Focus, heal, Ultima. That's pretty much all you really need to know. Uh, the move MP up is for uh, Doka, uh, for um, <clears throat> DW's Paladin is because uh, with one third MP and move MP up, she ha her Paladin can infinitely support. Yeah, with the uh, nurse, she can uh, regen herself and then lay on hands. <clears throat> it will be very it will be less costly for her. Pretty much, yeah. <clears throat> Unless you go for breaks and stuff like that. Oh, my voice started to crack a little bit. Give me a second. <clears throat> mm. Okay, so how cancerous is DW's team? Ah, they're so cancerous that they're all that they all have the same zodiac sign, Cancer. <laughs> uh, that was cute. That was cute. Okay, so where are we going first? Uh, all right. Uh, we'll go to uh inside of windmill shed. Okay. Uh, let's see. As I'm looking at the rest of the changes here, uh, just gonna move this to the side for a second. There we go. Much better. Uh, Geomancer's getting pulls. That's fine. It'll give Geomancer some new purpose in melee. And Ivory Rod Geomancer's. DW's gotta love that. Makes female Geomancer's in particular quite strong. Um, Iron Pole Geomancer's can also be a thing. Oh, the monk just went down. Thank you, X. Uh, paladins losing flails, that's fine. Uh, you don't really see any flail paladins used these days. Squire loses poles but gains flails. I think it should revive Squire's ability to use flails and melee weapons again. Be nice to see that. Plus, two sword squires can also be a thing again. Aside from just daggers, they can use flails. So, that'd be cool. Um, summoners, gain some PA, uh, don't have a problem with that, not really anyways, it just makes Dan the summoner much more manly, much more Danly, um, thieves gain some improved MA, that's fine as well, because we want at least some accuracy of Steelheart to be competent. Let's see, wizards, uh, I'm indifferent to what you do with wizards PA. I guess if you want to be funny about it, sure. Um, let's see, anything else new? Uh, Battle Wars and Path of Speech getting the uh, accuracy buff. Yeah, that's fine, but here's the question though. Will it still address the problem of a pretty rather long CT for Battle Wars and uh, Path of Speech to go off? I mean, improve accuracy, that's great, but will it, will it address the problem of it taking quite long? Um, that's the question I, like, I would like to know. Let's see. Um, Maytong gets a slight buff, while Sweetong gets a slight nerf. Okay. Ninjutsu. Interesting. Seventy-five? Uh, I'm not sure about that because that's basically almost a guaranteed battle song, magic song. Right there. You have to have at least a okay chance to miss. If anything else. Uh, but yeah, Animazo just took round one. 
<laughs> yeah, precious, yeah, precious sweet on. Okay. Okay, so for a large map, we are now going to uh, the airship graveyard, because why not? <clears throat> haven't seen this map in a while, at least I know I haven't. Okay, next. Uh, miasma getting oil proc. Um, I know it's random, but imagine how timely an oil proc would be when an elemental spell goes off. Like, if Miasma goes off first, and then, let's say, Shiva goes off next, <clears throat> how, uh, time, how, um, um, what's the term I'm looking for? How lucky would you really have to be for, for that to go off, you know? That's still banking on Miasma to get something going for you. But then again, uh, Miasma is meant to be on a setup team anyways. That's what you're spamming for the fun of for the uh, fun of it. Blackmail hits the Oracle. Um, unless Sigma Magic? Nope, no Sigma Magic. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. That Mystic Knight has Chivalry. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Futon no longer has Infinite Vertical. I think that's fine. I think on faith PA times eight sounds pretty good. It needs to have something right there. That's what I'm looking at. Riton is not reflectable. Okay. Um, I don't know how would that work though. I mean, maybe there's something you guys know that I don't. But how would Riton be reflectable if there's like an AOE uh, wave around? I don't know it's just a question. Well, yeah, I mean, that's why I thought, Andrew, when you, um, um, you or whoever came up with the idea of adding oil, is I say that because... Oh, wow, DW just, uh, took round two uh, with, with authority. Damn, girl. You mean business. Um, you know, I'm not saying it's a bad idea, but I'm just curious if, um, if oil should be added with miasma because of, um, how you have to be very specific with it to begin with. I, I don't know. It, it, it's just something that, um, I've been wondering about. Okay, so, uh, for a medium map, we are going to the office of the Zelda Castle. Oil poison. That was the old hawk's eye uh, saw too. Um, that's what happened a few patches ago. Hawk's eye was just basically um, a way to inflict oil and poison, um, and then you could follow with the elemental bow. I remember seeing that particularly in season four. I think it was on Dante's archer that did that. Wind slash bow. Uh, hawk's eye did about roughly one sixty-ish. And then followed up with 330 with another Hawk's Eye. I think that, I think that was uh, Pseudo Concentrate as well, if I remember correctly. Like it did, uh, like it did double the damage because the opponent was oiled and took more damage because was the wizard was what absorbing said element. I believe that's what happened at the time. A few can be good. Yep, 
Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what that's exactly what it was. And that's one of the biggest factors for Andante winning back in season four. <laughs> Um, yeah, that was pretty much it. Uh, let's see, what else we got? yin Yang Magic. Doubt Faith gets an accuracy buff. Okay. Douse gets an accuracy buff but loses uh, Blind. That's fine. I mean, we need a spell just to inflict oil anyway, so that's all good. Rebase one CT, but I can no longer target user. Oh, yeah, I think I already mentioned that. Raise two, uh, five range, four CT. Okay. Dia becomes elemental weapon. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. Um. Regen becomes 100%. Mad Science becomes 100%. Okay, that's fine. To compete with Cherub and Rebate, respectively. Oh, yeah, yeah, because the the guy can target Rebate onto himself, and then you see the mime fucking uh, cast Rebate onto himself as well. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm fine with that idea. That's fine. It prevents re-raise loops. That's true. Okay, Sawtooth, you gotta love this. Roulette removed from the game. That was one suggestion that was made in there. Yeah, I think making re-raise no longer target itself is a great idea to um <clears throat> to um stop stop looping and stop dragging on matches because that's my biggest complaint about long matches that just drag on because the same thing happens. And wow, that's a 400 plus damage southern cross. God damn. Um. Cheer up. Two range begins two vertical. Yell two range against two vertical. That's okay. Throw sand. 100% accuracy, but loses slow. That's fine. Wish goes up to 100 JP. Um. Yeah, ouch. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so AZ wins. Uh, GG, both of you. Cool. Awesome. Does he have haste? Uh, no, he does not. I know it's not carrying draw out. Okay, right, because Wish can be very cheap. Phoenix Down is basically free. It makes it very easy to build sandbag and units. Okay, so uh, next up, the Battle of the 4040s. I'm talking about my team that I'm exper experimenting with on top, Faithless Cowards, a team that used to belong to Squidgy before I decided to revive it, and one of Anima's teams on bottom, which is known as Neil... Uh, Arcadia. All right. So I have base. I have what you call um, how they're supposed to function. Uh, Tons, the Mystic Knight. Geomancy, the Geomancer. Draw out the Samurai. And Ultima, the Wizard. Okay, so what I'm basically doing here is I'm just making a 40-40 team. It's just an experimental team at best. I'm not expecting for it to, to last long unless it gets their damage in. But basically, this Mystic Knight is here to use Tons, as his setup would suggest. All he has is Amp Rays, and then Sweet Ton, Right Ton, Masogi. 
capitalizing with the elemental boosting from the crystal helmet. Um, well, I mean, I could have added in uh, Amp Shock, but I didn't really have the P, the uh, JP for it. Perhaps I could have swapped out PA save for something else. I don't know, but. Well, yeah, I mean, Ultima wasn't really used because it, it, there was no reason to use it. But now, it's like there's all the reason in the world to use Ultima. Um, but yeah, this is an attack up Mystic Knight, 16 PA with a Knight Robe, Crystal Helm. Kind of squishy, but can also be pretty powerful. Um, this is a Chivalry Geomancer, 12-12. With 108 gems, so her geomancy damage should be fairly solid. Also, gold shield just for just for some lightning absorb shenanigans. Uh, max out pretty much all of geomancy and nurse and lay on hands. Pretty cool. It's a base. It's a basic unit, I guess, with counter magic and teleport. Uh, draw out the samurai. Gave her 15 MA because of um, overwhelm. MP restore is okay on this girl. At least I think it's okay. Um, let's see. What do I give her? Bees and Boat, Murasame, and Cheery. And then uh, Punch Art, I believe I gave her... Where are you? Um, there you go. Sigma Magic and Revive. So basically I have ways to at least remove status and revive if need be. But I gave her Teleport to kind of move her around the map a little bit. Overwhelmed just to kind of um, get around the uh, drought. She should, she should still do some solid damage, I, I think. Solid damage, but we'll see. And this is basically a magic attack up wizard with some evade. Uh, magic attack up. Mangosh with MP up projectile guard, because why not? And then just gave her throw stone, heal, cheer up, yell, wish, and ultima. So just basically a utility girl with ultima. As her biggest weapon. So overall, this is kind of a balanced offensive team, pretty much. And the healing's okay, but um, she's like almost the main healer-ish. I don't know. Anima Zero team, meanwhile, has uh, Fef near the Geomancer. Harpuya, the Paladin. Leviathan, the Mystic Knight. And Phantom, the Ninja. So, um, his team is definitely faster in comparison. This one has Holy Absorb, I believe this time. The Platina Shield. Yep. A little Holy Absorb. Um, max out Geomancy. And then... Um, Throwstone Heal, Cheer Up Wish. Cool. Pretty basic Geomancer. Hits... His Geomancer does hit a little bit harder, but that's because his has a male Geomancer. And he has picked some other weapons that complement it. Ah, oh, yes, very good. Uh, Harpuya. Ooh, Paladin with Nijitsu. All the Toms are going to hurt. Quite a lot. Um, let's see... Meton Futon, Masugi, and then Nurse, Leon, Hands, Transfuse. Alrighty. Yeah, the damage output is going to be ridiculous. Uh, another draw unit, you know, this time in form of the Mystic Knight. Let's see what she's rocking here. Um, just draw out. Okay, Bees and Boat, Murasame, Masamune, Chiri. Maple Slash just for funsies, because you never know um, how well that's going to work out, if at all. And then just an Item Bot Ninja. Um, Propel Knife Gladius for the Don't Act in Slow combo. That can always be pretty deadly. Um, does he have any tones or any chance? No, just items. Just throwable items. Okay. All right, so we're going to Nogias. Cool. 
So yeah, Anima Zero's team, I think, has the advantage because his team is definitely faster. I mean, it depends on um, how the rest is going to go. Uh, oh, that's right. Masamune missed because of the... Uh, oh, Ton hurts. Ouch. Yeah, that taunt damage really did a number on me early. Lay on hands, hits, and then... Don't act in haste. 200 damage Ultima. So a little tip for tap right there, but the don't act did hit the samurai. Geomancer is stuck sandbagging at this point in time. Let's see, Ultima again. Ninja healed up the auto potion. Beezing boat. Yeah, I think Anima's gonna be just snag round one. Like, no problem whatsoever. No, no counter magic even. Ooh, double guard, okay. Maybe, maybe my Mystic Knight at Magic should get a chance here? Who knows? He does get a chance. He gets a turn. Right on, damn. A PA safe, okay. This is getting interesting now all of a sudden. Ooh, double kill off that Geomancy. Uh-oh. Ooh, what's gonna happen here? Riotan, okay. Well, this is getting intense now, all of a sudden. Land hands onto the wizard. It looks like I'm gonna be using my samurai permanently. It all depends, though. Oh, never mind. Um. Oh my god, a double block. Oh, that sucks. Well, it sucks for me anyways. That's alright, because I'm dead. Oh, man. That RNG, that RNG had to screw me over in the end. Ah, that's okay. Let's see here. Uh, we're going to uh, Barriers Valley. <laughs> yeah, that right there, guys, is an example of shenanigans. <laughs> mm. Okay, light axe getting one MA. I think I believe I said that was fine. Uh, Heaven's cloud getting a bit of a buff. That's good. See, Tony Star again. Hasten regen. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Heaven's cloud. Ouch, that uh, Tawn hurts. See, Water Ball. Oh, Frog Proc. Ouch. That's going to definitely put Camper on me for sure. Oh, was that a double kill? I think that was a double kill. Okay, PA save on my uh, Mystic Knight. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, wow, I think I've just lost this one, like, no problem. Yeah, the early frog proc kind of really, um, got me there. And oh well, I wasn't expecting much out of this team anyways, other than just to uh, have lols, high damage. Alright, so Anima, um, yeah, good job, you actually won twice in a row. Okay, what is next? Okay. Well, I, I clicked on the uh, another link by accident. Alright, uh, let's see. Okay, so, um, next up, we got AJ's team on top, which is known as Percutaneous. Percutaneous. And on bottom, we got Dole's team, which is known as Volunteer Beatdown. Okay, so we got, um, forgive me if I mess it up, Pervicacuous the Lancer. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, Pervicacuous. Vic Oculus. Uh, Sap, uh, Sapron Stomois. The Samurai. Uh, Errumpent, the Archer. And Jararaka, the Samurai. Jesus Christ. Um, so yeah, Regen Lancer with the Evade, Reflect, Auto Potion. Oh, man. Um, I'm guessing just throwable items. Yeah, just throwable items. That's all the Lancer's just there to do. Um, defense up Steel Samurai. Undead. Oh, God. Is this friggin' roulette? Oh, no. No roulette. Okay. Let's see. Quickening, Steel Heart, Steel Weapon, Steel Accessory. So this guy is just basically just a troll... I guess, I guess, uh, Murasami Kiyomori. So he's just basically a troll. Um, talk skill concentrate. Yeah, I know, I got the rest, I got the rest wrong. That's fine, though. Um, talk skill concentrate. That's actually interesting. Oh, for the bow gun. Got it. Leg aim, arm aim, uh, execute, and pretty much all the breaks, and then. Uh, death sentence and refute. <laughs> Mispronounced stuff. Okay. At least English was not my second language. As I can say that. <laughs> you like it when I mispronounce stuff? I mispronounce, I mispronounce word. I have. I don't really know how to say because I haven't seen these words before. <laughs> uh, and this one I think is another troll uh, I don't think I really need to get him to him too much alright so for Dole we got a um, uh, new guy the Mystic Knight thing 1 the Paladin thing 2 the Paladin and from downtown the Archer okay um Let's see. Um, spell, spell blade, chivalry. Let's see. Amp cure, amp raise, amp bile, amp ice water. And then lay on hands, iron will, iron, uh, hallowed strike. Okay. So this guy is just an attacker for PA save. Um, thing one, just a unique magic user. I believe we've seen this before. This is an updated version. Spell absorb zombie paralyzed sleep and then land hands transfusion re raise. Same thing with this girl and then uh breaker unit. Perv ick Aceous. Okay. Pervic uh Aceous. Alright. I'll have to practice that. 
Uh, snipe from the archer. Yep, execute. Breaks, and then... Heretic Misogi. Alright, cool. Alright, so we're going to the Wooden Shed. First round matchup. Okay, an earlier spell absorb. Alright, from the Paladin. See, and a Paralyze coming up. See, Shield Break hits 81%. So there goes the Escuchi on two. Leg game hits a stop proc and then charm. Charm hits, so there there goes the paralyzed charge. See oh boy, zombie onto the male mystic knight. Gunshot to um Oh, zombie got blocked. That's a good thing for Dole. Steel accessory hits, and there go. I believe that was the sprint shoes. And by for one thirty-two, shield break hits the undead archer, who I think had another, had another shield on. Ah, uh, Kiyomori. Oh, but the um, Mystic Knight is not poisoned. He's only blinded. So I guess we're just going to see breaks go off all over the place. Ooh, don't act does go off. See, oh, those Arch is the one that's uh, don't acted. Ouch. See, um, <clears throat> bag whack to get rid of the charm. Cool. Swing to miss. Steel accessory. Okay. See, lay on hands. Double lay on hands on the zombified samurai. Or one of them at, at this point. PA save on. The mystic, the mystic knight, double lay on hands, kills one the um, zombified samurai. Stop proc. Head break hits. Amp ice misses. That's because of the blind proc. Um, charm misses this time. Now that the death sentence hits through 46%, everyone's just breaking stuff all over the place. Wow, 40%? That's because of the blind, I know, but goddamn. Okay, there's Masogi. Finally, Dole ha Archer has the sense to use it. Oh, yay, nurse uh, from Dole's Mystic Knight. There's a re-raise. Well, he's, dodge he's dodging because of the blind proc. That's the only reason why he's missing right now. Because don't forget, his shield did break. And more stuff is being broken, thus also rendering Meatbone Slash to be more ineffective. Welcome, Bebop. Oh, steel weapon! With a punch amp raise. Oh, that's really funny. But yeah, steel weapon. Oh, wow. That's gonna really hurt that, um... 
Miss Ignite big time. Damn. Okay, while that's going on, I'll read through some more changes. Um, let's see. Um, Excalibur again is a weapon evade. Good. 20 Soul getting Haste and Regen. That's fine. Uh, Heaven's Cloud, I think it should be okay. Let's see, Knives are getting a bit of a buff. That's always good. Uh, Lombos are getting a huge buff, I'm noticing. Um, and that alone, I think, will make archers probably a top-tier class. The reason why I say this is, be is because of these buffs. And archers will be a lot more threatening. Because I think Extas has mentioned that Lombos pretty much suck right now. Uh, I say they're more mediocre than they suck. But, ooh. A punch amp ice is still doing some damage. Um, what else do we got? Yoichibo, getting a better proc for Dark Holy. Yeah, there's a lot of buffs for the Lombos. Damn. Uh, Ninja Swords are also getting their buffs as well. I think it's just in response to this two swords penalty on ninjas, so that way they can get a little bit of their damage back. Uh, Sasuke and I lost his force two hands, so it's basically... Um, yeah, Sasuke Knife can basically be a go-to weapon for speedy Mystic Knights now. Okay. Parallax only hits one of the Samurai. Uh, Dole has no way to remove blinds, so that's going to stick for a long time. Uh, what else do we got? Um, Blackstab gain one jump and one MA. Wow. Ooh, I would use that. On a mage, definitely I would use it. Meteor Staff? Yeah, I, I don't care about it one way or the other. Rune Staff gets Hollow Strike. Ooh. That's another good option. White Staff as well. Yeah, I'm liking these Staff buffs. Gives Priest and Wizard some mobility. Oh, you played um, right that FFT? Or is it wasn't a mod? Mage Masher. <laughs> well, Mage Masher at our... Um, um, I would Mage Masher here just depletes MP, not so not so much absorbs. Although that'd be really funny. <clears throat> Plano FFT. Okay, well that's still pretty awesome. Um, but if you are interested, Bebop, in what you're seeing so far, um, definitely make a team for FFT Arena. We um generally chat on Discord. If someone can provide him the link, uh, that'd be awesome. So you can um, come chat with us and say hello. Shield render being removed from the game. Rip. Tactician's blade becomes a mithril sword, but then becomes. Oh, I see. So tactician's blade gets merged with the shield render. And then. It gets a it gets a shield break prod. No two hands, no two swords. Okay. All right, that's fair enough. All right, what else do we got? Um, are you only streaming from the phone? I see. Alright, let me see. Uh, so basically what I'm seeing here is Cloves going back to absorbing just one element. 
that's fine. It does bring back the elemental absorption a little bit, while at the same time not being too out of control with it. Okay, so I'm guessing these robes are just basically there to kind of uh, mix up the strengthening a little bit. That's fine. Hyper wrist becomes hyper shoes. Um, Mutant critical, innocent, and regen. Speed plus two. Oh, wow. That's going to be pretty strong. Chantage. It's just always regen. Okay. Poison now dispels when the afflicted dies. Well, it does... Uh, one thing that will do is... Uh, it will cancel out the death loop when you don't heal from poison immediately. So I guess um, that gives rid of what you call the boop, the big boo-boo, if you will. That seems to be it. Um, oh, Genji armor, Mithril armor. Yeah, that's fine. Minor buffs to them. That's totally okay. Yeah. Yeah, the, the more unnecessary loops it cuts out, the happier I, I think we'll all be. Including myself, because I have to because I won't have to sit through and call it. <laughs> um I just have to um Oh, save your thoughts on that holy idea for a second. I just have to use the restroom, so I'll be right back. Okay, uh, let me see. Holy moves to white magic. Five range. Da, da, da. Reflectable. 200. Ooh, okay. It would be interesting to see, but... Oh god, if that Mystic Knight actually hits despite blind, that'd be pretty amazing. Oh, he hits one. Let's see. Uh, paralyze. Redirect paralyze. It worked. It actually worked. Okay, not much else to really see here. Oh, don't act war wears off on both the Samurai and the Mystic Knight. Yeah, I think this is over.
Yeah, I don't think we need to see a round two. Do we, guys? Do we really need to see a round two? Alright. Yeah, yeah, good. Okay, moving on. Okay, so next up, we got uh, Sawtooth's team on top, uh, which is known as uh, Pumpkin Pals. And on bottom, my other team, Tax Returns. Y'all remember the money-making team? <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So, for um, Sawtooth, I think this is his team revised. Diggy the Ninja. Dr. Fu the Wizard. Blues the Wizard. And go go the priest. Yeah, don't worry. We're already moving on to a different set. Um, Chivalry Ninja with equip armor, reflect mail, tough ring. All right, that's fine. Short edge spell edge. Um, sweet on right on heretic, and then Iron hands nurse transfuse iron will. All right. Two swords wizard. Ooh, she's gonna hurt really, really, really hard. She's gonna. Uh, she's going to hit really hard, I should say. Um, what is she rocking here? Another fire, fire two. Another f water, water two. Anything from lore at all? Um, mad science, regen, bio two, melt. That's pretty damn good. Uh, equip weapon enhancer wizard. That's hilarious. Um, poison frog, and then Moogle Leviathan, Fairy Carbuncle, Bahamut, Cyclops. She'll opt to go for more damage, I think, more often than Poison Frog. But I have seen her use <coughs> Poison and Frog maybe just once. So, uh, we'll see. Definitely see. A Short Charge Priest with a Slumber Staff. White and Tiny Magic. Pretty basic. Does Gender Effect PA... Versus MA in this patch. MA versus PA in this patch. Uh, depending on the genders, I think that usually means males are more inclined with PA and females are more inclined with MAs. Cool. Okay. Um. Let's see. Haste. Don't move. Sink. Call. Return. All right. Oops. That's pretty much it for the mage team. Then we have my um RNG team. Um. Ten ten ninety five A the paladin. Ten ninety five B the paladin. W two the thief. And W four the time mage. So pretty much here, um, it's a Gil Toss theme team. I remember DW saying she wants Gambler's Axe to be reevaluated, so this is the chance to check it out. Um, but to show off what it is, this is a two hands Gambler's Axe Paladin, quite fast. Uh, Nurse Transfuse, and then uh, Sigma Magic and Revive. So he's a basic, um, he's a he's a basic physical attacker. Uh, strength tonics. Uh, I don't believe I got it. Um, I'll have to double check. Anyways, um, this is an item bot paladin. This time with concentrate, so he's guaranteed a hit. The two hands just does way more damage. Uh, just nurse in the sky and then items. I would throw in strength tonic, but um, I, I I think it's just a little JP concern I'm having at the moment. But um, yeah, this is just basically him. Also running around whacking people. This is a um, range one equipped weapon thief. I gave her Kane's Lance because I want to try it out, you know, with the Gil Toss and Guts and stuff like that. Gil Toss at least guaranteeing me a hit. Uh, also has um, Steel Heart, Steel Weapon, Steel Accessory too. And then Heal, Cheer Up, Yell, Wish. Basic buffing. 
and then the time age here, your typical support time age. Also, everyone um, is actually quite fast, so this is the idea to use the speed to your to my advantage, of course. Um, time magic, haste, slow, stop, comet, and sinkhole, and then um, cure three, raise Asuna. Again, simple. How well will this do? Um, will Sawtooth get his money back? Let's find out. Uh, we are going to Windmill Shed. Uh, Lanaya Plateau. There we go. The Gil Toss for 104. And an instant stop proc hits the hits the priest. That's gonna lead the two wizards being able to uh, do something here. Bow two, ouch. Bahamut, double ouch. Damn, ouch. Insecure three, though. Sweet Tongue gets blocked. Yeah, I think I'm about to get wrecked right now by those two wizards. <coughs> oh my god. Ugh. Charmer and the Ninja, though. Fire 2 gets blocked. The Priest being stopped really helped out early. Over Flex Stop, and Ninja's supposed to get a turn. Oil and Faith. And a thief will walk in and arrange for cure three. And Avalanche, welcome to my FFT Arena live stream. Charm really helped me out in this one. Stop misses this time though. Gil toss again. Return to get rid of the stop. My paladin's kind of being a bit passive right now. It's soon to get rid of the poison. They're just looking for chivalry here. He does he does get one off, and there's a race two as well. Oh, but it misses. What's like what's a ninety percent? Oh, wow. See, and there's a Giltos damage right there. That's because of two hands. See, don't move. Ooh, triple don't move hits. Uh-oh. That might buy Sawtooth some time. Stop misses. Wow, again. See, Fairy's about to go off. And Dr. Fuji could be looking for some more AoE here. Oh, bag whacking. And then gill toss. Oh, just enough to... Okay, so the fire two did not kill, but still, though, the gill toss was pretty lucky. That's because the priest is out of MP. Oh, there's a sleep proc. Uh-oh. <laughs> and
And Bahama only hits the Time Mage. Oh, Revive misses. Uh-oh. Not good for me. She does get a turn. But she really can't do anything. She's pretty much useless at this point. Those sleep procs, though, are definitely buying Sawtooth some time. And if Freeze does indeed grab the crystal. Yeah, Sawtooth, I think you just uh, got yourself right back in this match. Like, without a doubt. Yeah, not much else to say here. You said you got really fortunate with those sleep procs hitting. And that pretty much turned the whole tide for you. See, damage split after another water. No, uh, I'm the green team, Avalanche. Uh... So, pretty much a permanent three on three at the moment. Or it could be permanent three on two, depends. <clears throat> Evelyn, Sawtooth is in the black, I'm in the green. HP restore and both of them actually remove and regen. Yeah, there's really not much my team can really do at this point. Ugh. And though those moves are really crippling the team here, without a doubt. Yeah, this is going to take a while because those nurses no damage splits. And protect. Poison for the win, maybe.
Oh, Lucky Gill Toss. Okay. And don't move on to the Paladin and the Priest. Yeah, I think I'm definitely losing here. There's no way my Paladin's going to be able to tank a three-on-one. And regen. Lovely. Oh, wait, a redirect double kill? Are you serious right now? Oh boy, this is going to get really funny. This is about to get really funny on now all of a sudden. Uh, but I don't think it's going to happen right now because I am pretty much dead. Yep. Oh, that was a funny redirect, though. That was actually rather funny. Oh, well. <clears throat> Okay, uh, so for a large map, uh, we'll go to, uh, Dordaba, uh, the D-Swamp, we'll just call it that, D-Swamp. <laughs> that was really funny, though, towards the end. Alright, so hopefully for a large man, my team actually get the run around spread status because I got really unlucky with the status procs not hidden. And it was just basically me being wrecked by, by don't move and um, AoE magic in general. Alright, we're going to see some black magic, it looks like. Alright, Cyclops wants to go off first. Let's see, Gyotas. See, another water. Redirect. We'll see if the redirect was worth it. It might not it might not be though because my team's getting awfully close. Sweet Tonk gets blocked. See race two. Oh misses for Sawtooth. And Sinkhole cancels the wizard spell. And Geltos. Wow, for double the damage too. She raised two, hits the wizard. See another sinkhole coming up. See Thief gets right back up. And then Lay on Hands picks back up the wizard. Transfusion gets the thief right back in charge. 100% don't move. Triple Pound Haste successful. Will that be enough, though? Let's we'll find out. Gil Toss. Water 2, though. Ouch. Damage Split kill, though. Let's 
Since Wizards are going to go for more AoE just because. So you have, let's see, protect. Uh, Bahamut, this is going to hurt. Oh yeah, I'm t I'm so dead. <clears throat> yeah, I am totally dead. Man, I suck tonight. <laughs> uh, me being me being trapped like this, I will not tolerate this any longer. Hey, Sodia, how's it going? And <laughs> sucker punch does it. Yeah, I've not even seen sucker punch yet. I have yet to see it. Same call my time age. Ugh. Yeah, ouch. I got decimated tonight. God damn. Well, still, congratulations, Sawtooth. That was good stuff. Okay, so, uh, what is next tonight? Okay, so on top we got um, Doka Rider's team, which is known as Ultimate Magic, and on bottom we got AJ's team, which is known as Spark. Okay, so for Doka Rider we got Harry Dick, the Paladin, Plague Lord, the Mystic Knight, Pickup Artist, the Lancer, and Ultima, the Scholar. Okay, so, um, pretty much here in a uh, slightly updated version of the team, if I recall correctly. Um, Tech Up Nijitsu, um, Meitan Futon, Heretic Misogi, okay. And then Nurse Iron Will, alright. One third MP, Mystic Knight, interesting. I'm guessing this is just, um, oh, excuse me. <clears throat> okay, no Mystic Knight skills. All right, so this is just all guts. I'm assuming. Uh, throw heal, throw grind heal. I almost said throw heal for some reason. Yell and wish. Hey, what's going on, Soundcaster? How's it going? All right, pick up artist, the Lancer. Uh, item, throw item. I. An auto potion with jump, 11 speed, so he's going to be very fast at what he's going to be doing. I'm assuming just throwable items. Oh, we got some jumps in there as well. And of course, strength tonic as well. And then we got Ultima the Scholar. Um, I'm guessing just Ultima. Focus throw stone Ultima. Nice. And that's pretty much it. Cool. All right, so for AJ, uh, we got Outlet the Monk, Cable the Monk, Bolt the Mime, and Flash the Mime. Okay, so we got a Lightning Absorb team from the looks of things. I'm guessing Raiton Spam. Uh, Shuriken, Raiton, yep. Sigma Shaka Revive, same thing with this guy. Um... And then guts overwhelm out of potion. So throw grime heal cheer up yell wish. Yep, very very straightforward team. 
for Ellie Absorb anyways. Okay, so we're going to uh, map 103. Uh, outside of the windmill shed? Yeah, we'll go there. <clears throat> Alright, I gotta blow my nose again. Just give me a second. Okay, throw grime, inflict an oil. I'm not sure how good that's going to Oh, the taunts, that's right. Ouch. 540A, while well, the guy already had initial innocent. Damn. And some right on healing. Here's a right on spamming. Well, they don't have the offensive capability outside of spamming right on. From what I'm seeing here. <coughs> well, yeah, mimes can mime other abilities. Mimes just can't mime each other. Alright, some Ultima going on. Javin uh, poke. That's gonna trigger don't move. Ooh, a mist of the uh of the futon. Oh god, those Riton spams. Let's see. Bolt will go for a throw grime. Oh, that means the next right time is going to hurt a lot. Yeah, ouch. I've been saying that a lot lately on this stream. Ouch, ouch, ouch. The dancer mine. Oh yes, uh, the one that can spam with Nismus, I think. Is that the one that you're referring to? Yeah. Um, dancers are actually no longer a thing in this patch. I'm, I'm semi sure you're aware of it. Our right, HP restore hits. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I remember the dancer mime you did like a long time ago. Actually, um, I remember a team that um, I remember when my cousin first got started into FFT Arena. He had a a team that had, I think it was a mime, a bard, and two dancers, where basically. Uh, the uh, the the bar would use battle song. The mime would mimic the battle song, and then <clears throat> the dancer would just use Wiznisbis as the uh, mime uses Wiznisbis as the PA keeps stacking up. So it's just basically um, bard scenes, mime mimics, two dancers dance, bar, uh, mime mimics, which basically meant that over time it would just become more and more overwhelming to overcome. I remember that was like one of the first teams he ever did. Uh, 
Yeah, stuff like Auto Potion and HPA Sable would just ruin it. See, lots of um, taunt spam, and I'm noticing. Is this going to be like another one of those uh, matches that just goes on for a long time? Everyone's just throwing shit at each other. It's like playing fucking South Park Stick of Truth, where you just throw your own shit at people. And apparently throwing shit does extra damage. Another block, okay. The bag oh, did the monk run MP? I think he did. I think he ran out of MP. Or or I was or I was while I was we go for the bag whack. Oh, he wanted to let the mime have the glory of doing the mimic uh Riton kill. Oh, ain't that so nice of him? Oh wow, triple kill of right ton. Okay guys, I have a question for you. Do you want to see a round two between these two teams? Everyone say yes or no right now. But Andrew, I thought you always loved mimes. Why the change of heart? Oh my god. I'm looking at this cause it just makes me dizzier and dizzier. How long am I going? Um, I've only been going about this for about an hour and a half, so I could probably go on a little more. Um, if you have a team soundcaster that uh, you want me to show off, I'll be more than happy to do so. Oh god, another block? The guess who will make a triumphant return next patch. Sounds good.
Yeah, uh, go ahead and make one, Soundcast. This is like the last match I was able to get through my car, because a lot of the matches went by pretty quick. Um, except for the AJ match. All of AJ's teams, uh, most of them anyways, are in it for the long haul. Ultima, uh, it goes back down to MA times 9, evadable and reflectable. Oh boy. Well, I guess Ultima just got neutered again. Okay, um... I guess that was just round one. Smart target and steal, that's true. Oh no, I still have the uh, RG8 Raven match. I forgot about that. I forgot. Uh... Um, Delta will be the next one. At least it will give Zalcaster a little bit of time to build a team. Now, we'll see how the large map does for both squads. <laughs> A little mine backfire. See, oh, Magaton gets blocked. Whoa. Oh, thank you, Tough Rain, I guess. An HP Restore after the Ultima, so that did nothing for a Doka Rider there. Uh, another Ultima coming up. Ton HP Restore. Yeah, Ultima can just uh, go right through uh, tank teams, which on the one hand is great if you're looking for ways to buy Pierce Evasion, but now all of a sudden people are saying that um, now Ultima is too good. See, that's the problem when you tip the scales in one favor or the other. It becomes either too powerful, or if you nerf it, it later becomes too weak. Well, too weak in comparison against high evade defensive teams. See, so throw Grime again. That will make the monk vulnerable to the taunts. Like so. Except not. Auto potion, no HP restore this time.
A crit shot from the javelin. That's actually pretty funny. Um... Uh, not much else is really going on at the moment. Um, it looks to be a four on three in Dokurai's favor here, though. All right, did I receive any um, PMs here? Okay, looks like I did not receive any, um... Looks like I did not receive any as of yet. Okay. Ah, the ton. Yep. I was waiting for it. Holy water to get rid of the oil proc. See, high potion. Um, yeah, we're just seeing uh, the same thing pretty much. Everyone just keeps going round and round and round. Skull Runner MP is also going to be a bit of a problem for Doka Rider because of um, Skull not being able to cast Ultima. Oh, nice little uh, whack to heal up. Oh, while well, the skull is down to like minimal MP and HP. And a double kill. Yeah, I think uh, Agent's gonna be taking this once again because of the AoE. Punch and a punch. No bagwhack kill, so denied. Oh boy.
Okay, so now it's already four on one. Despite that Lancer being very fast, uh, he's not going to be able to Phoenix down his team. Back to the fight. Oh, the 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 Phoenix Miss Knight block both shurikens twice. That's actually kind of funny. Oh, she has high physical evade. That's why. That was why. At least physical evade for the front. If the moment the monks can just get a little bit closer. Okay, there's a damage output that we need. Okay, now I think this will be over. Yep. Okay, there we go. Cool. Okay, next up is RG's team on top, which is known as Fire Absorb, versus Raven and Razgris' team on bottom, which is known as Hate the Game. So apparently, Raven's mission is for you to really hate FFT Arena right now, because it's so cancerous. Alright, so for RG, we got Asura the Samurai, Flame Saber the Squire, Nirvana the Time Mage, and Flame Staff the Wizard. So this is, as it, in, in case you haven't figured it out already, it's a Fire Absorb team that um, RG has um, forth has brought forth here. Um, Asura, Masamune, and then Play Hands, Nurse, Transfuse. So basically, just Fire Absorb all the way. Punch Out Squire, um, <clears throat> Rapine Fist, Secret Fist, okay. Sigma Magic Chaka Revive, and then just Yell Wish. Uh, Union Magic Time Age, okay, that'll be interesting with the, with the Nirvana staff. Um, Haste 2, Slow 2, Comet Sinkhole, and then Douse Paralyzed Sleep. <clears throat> and a Hybrid Wizard, pretty much. Fire 2, another Water Frog, and then Cure 3, Raise Asuna. Pretty good. Alright, um, as for Raven's team, we got, you all guessed it, Cancer, 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 Cancer. Everyone on the team has Cancer and wants to spread Cancer as far as possible. That's basically the goal here. Um, <clears throat> so for the Paladins... Nurse Transfusion re raise and then Secret Fist, Sigma Magic, and Chakra. And they're basically clones of each other with Ragnarok and Save the Queen. Same thing with these two Ragnarok, Save the Queen. See Spellblade, Amp Cure, so Spell re raise, Bile Miasma. And then Death Sentence and Refute. Okay. That's pretty much what's going on here. All right, can we remain cancer-free? Let's find out. First, I need to use the bathroom, so I'll be right back. <clears throat>
It made my bowels empty. Yeah. Gotta flush out all the cancerous poison in my system. Alright, so Asura. Deal you know, minimalistic damage. That's because of the uh, protect. Secret fist. Um, let's see. Amp bio gets blocked. Fire two. Let's see. Donut does land. Secret fist. So a little tip for tap, pretty much. See, oh, sinkhole missed, and that's with faith too. Uh, frog misses. Secret fist misses for RG. Oh boy, this is gonna suck for RG. Frog keeps missing as well. Okay, I'm going to take a look at it right now. Okay, cool. I will add that in right now. Just give me one second. All right, it looks like I didn't really miss too much. Just some stalling, pretty much. It's just silly. All right.
well, we look to be in a little bit of a, of a loop here. Well, time, I definitely needed the, um... Yeah, Raven has the, um, Paladin, the two Paladins and the two Mystic Knights. RG has, like, the Squire, the Wizard, the Time Mage, and the Samurai. Ooh, Double Door Act Proc does hit. Uh, yeah, not much else I can really say at this point. Uh, RG is getting pretty much slowly dissected. Okay, another double paralyzed from RG. We'll see if that will make any sort of difference whatsoever. I doubt it, but hey, you never know. Alright, Sinkhold stops the spell. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, Andrew, that we don't go to around two. Right, down goes the undead time age. So, I guess something is being done. How many matches? There's been a total of... Technically, there was six, but one of them was just so long, I just couldn't... Uh... Oh, how has been the matches? Yeah, it's been pretty fun. I slow to misses. Squire decides to chakra himself and get some of his HP back. The sleep proc hits only the Mystic Knight from what it looks like. 
Okay, now I think it's over. There we go. Okay, cool. Alrighty. Uh, that was... Yeah. <laughs> uh, not much else we can really say about it right now at this point, except... Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Damn, damn, damn. 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 <laughs> Okay, um, I'll throw in a couple more matches for you guys. Um, <laughs> cancer must be purged. Please donate to the FFT Arena Cancer Research Foundation. This should be an ad for this. Please stop the spread of cancer. Donate not to the Jimmy Fund, but to FFT Arena. We are looking for ways to incite cancer as well as purge it. Alright, so I got a couple more matches for you guys, and I think that'll be it for tonight. Okay, so we got Soundcaster's team on top, which is known as Frog Hunters. And we got Andante's team, which is known as the Frat Pack. Okay, so Soundcaster has Shoot the Chemist. Those the Chemist. Crazy the Lancer. And Frogs the Lancer. Oh, you know what we really love, Soundcaster? If you make a Duck Hunt um, inspired team, <clears throat> I think that'd be really, really funny. You know. You ever play Duck Hunt? For the old Nintendo? <laughs> That'd be really funny. Um, <clears throat> yeah, there's been yeah, there's a lot of changes in the works uh, for 1.42a, and some of which is um, it's what you're seeing here. No ducks. Oh, but you know what would have been better? If if instead of a duck, you can substitute with a chicken and just do a chicken spell. It's technically... It has wings, so it kind of counts. <laughs> um, Alright, so basically we got two twins here. 11 speed chemist with snipe. Uh, leg aim, arm aim, and head, and head break. And just throwable items. And these two um, are basically just the ones that cast status. The black magic lancers. Uh, poison frog death. That's pretty much all you need to know. <laughs> oh yeah, the dog that laughs at you when you fail. Then again, um, if you play as Duck Hunt in Super Smash Brothers, you know how trolly you can really be. It's one of my favorite characters to use, Duck Hunt. It sounds like if you say it too fast, it's like Duck Hunt. <laughs> That's what it sounds like if you say it way too fast. <laughs> okay, so for Andante, we got Bro the Thief. What? Come at me, bro! Come at me! Bruh the Archer. Bruh the Ninja. And Brohan, the Lancer. Okay, so. Two hands, or a Calcum Thief. That's going to be pretty cool to see. With Abandon. Ooh, uh, with the nice physical evade to go with it as well. So, just quickening, and then items. That's pretty much all there is to it to this guy. Uh, Lightning Bow Archer. We haven't seen an ar Archer Lightning Bow in some time. We have concentrate, so I'm guessing just, that's just there for the don't act proc. Uh, leg aim, execute, and then um, heal, cheer up, wish. Pretty good. Uh, 
Uh, Bra the ninja with attack up two Orochis. So this guy um, is going to hit really hard. Just heal, yell, wish, and then the taunts and Kajasogi. And then Brohan the Lancer with the luck up Goku Rod, pretty much um, just to guarantee the instant proc. Not much else there to say. And then Spin Fist, um, Sigma Magic Chakra, and Revive. Cool. Awesome. Uh, okay, so where are we going to go for round one? Uh, we'll go to the Death City entrance. There we go. Delay game misses. And armor break misses as well. So Andante so far is unscathed. Nice energy with the uh, yell and cheer up uh, combo starting off for Andante. There's a death off the bat from one of the Lancers. Let's see, one misses and... Two miss. So, Silent Cast is right now 0 and 2. Leg game hits the Archer. Armor Break misses, though. Ooh, double block. Wow. That Lancer is actually quite the dodge bot. Poison prep for the win. Maybe we shall see. Let's see, don't move onto the ninja. This is gonna slowly but surely chip away. Right on for good damage, but not great. Well that lance is in critical. And she goes down. They all pretty much had to gain up on her to get the for Anton to get the upper hand. Death does finally land. Stop hit hits on the ninja. Soundcaster might be making a recovery here. See, leg game misses. Oh, but the stop does hit the thief. Now Soundcaster might be able to get a for a recovery, unless the ninja can do something. He's going to just sandbag instead. Okay, let's see. Poison, and then... Oh, a frog! Are we going to see a frog? Oh, we don't see a frog. At least not yet. Stop proc onto the um, archer. Okay, ninja didn't quit. Didn't quite hit as hard as I thought. But then again, the uh, lancer is has forty faith, so that's probably why um, the ninja didn't hit as hard as I would have thought. Then I'm not saying Andante Steve hit for something either. He's too busy uh, patching up.
Okay, there's a damage from the thief, 173. That's pretty decent from two hands. Not great, but decent. All right, poison, double poison. So Soundcast is trying to control uh, the ba the flow of the battle a little bit with the um, oh um, Sawtooth. He's two-handed and Oracalcum, which basically ate Qatar. Our main's missing so far. Oh, we're going to see a frog. Some knives um, you can two-hand. Others you can dual-wield. I think the rest are just one-handed only. Tons are doing some good damage to uh, Soundcaster's team. The Tong uh, Thief's Knife Whack combo. Silly thief, he could have gone for the kill instead, he just went for the um <clears throat> went for the quickening instead. might be true. I mean, Spin Fist was still going to be a thing. But yeah, Dante, I think, is going to be taking uh, round one. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we'll see what happens in uh, round two. Oh, right now this is Soundcaster versus Andante. DW, you, you must have missed quite a bit, actually. Um, I, I can tell you what you did miss. You did miss some cancerous teams. Well, a couple cancerous teams. And now we're just getting into some of the bonus matches. Our man does finally hit. Okay, death uh, lands on the Lancer. 
Thief is not yet in range for item. <clears throat> now don't actually start to hit for sound caster. See, death misses the thief. The thief will finally get in there and revive the Lancer. It illustrates things. Yeah, it illustrated a lot of things. A lot of things. Now Andrew's coming up with all these ideas that, oh my god, we need to do something about sleeping magic now, now, now! Okay, so Soundcaster just took round two. All right, we're going to be going to round three. All right, we're going to go to Yugo Woods. Well, Simple Magic has such a range that um, it can... Um, well, what Simple Magic uh, has no a... Um, what did I say? Um, what if um, Simple Magic was like the user's range? Like instead of... Um, like instead of being able to use it right next to you, uh, why not... Why not? You can always use the um. Uh, why not just have the target just give it um, yeah, the Masamune range pretty much. Why not just do that? I think they can at least uh, dispel some of the problems that you guys already have with Sigma Magic. Well, Soundcaster, you're not shooting them frogs. You're trying to take their souls. So, the, you should have renamed them the Soul Takers. Or the Undertakers. <laughs> Shang Tsung. Uh, Grim Reaper. Whatever can personify Soul Taken and Death. <laughs> My god, those deaths keep landing like crazy. And then dead. Dead. See, well, turtle shell just cuz, I guess. Poison only hits the ninja. See, death proc on the thief. Oh, boy. A death spell. Excuse me on the thief. I can't keep thinking proc for some reason. I don't know why. The death spell hits the thief. Frog does land. Now Soundcaster can shoot the frog for 220 damage crit. <laughs> I 
bring back silence. Ha <laughs> ha. Good luck with that. Not sure why the chemist just didn't walk up range any further and try to shoot down the thief. Or is it just the Ramonda gun's uh, now slightly more limited um, range? Death misses. The soundcaster will eventually win. Let's see, poison misses. Frog lands now is GG. Now soundcaster can once again shoot the frog. Time for some target practice. Okay. There's right, so I got one more match for you all, and that's it. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice a little bit. All right, I'm going to give myself one more chance to redeem myself after those two failures. <clears throat> so hopefully I'll win. We'll find out. Because this time I got my team on top, which is known as... Um, Wake up undead, and another one on Dante's team on bottom, known as Scratch Pad. So I got Murasame the Mystic Knight, Derevan the Chemist, Hypnosis the Oracle, and Death by Six the Scholar. So it pretty much is a uh, sleep zombie death team, pretty much, um, with attack up Murasame. Basically, when the, when the person's zombified, attack up Murasame. That's pretty much the deal here. With Snipe, of course. Um, amp Cure, Amp Raise, Amp Dispel, and then... Execute Head Break, Shield Break. Mangotch Chemage. Mangotch Chemist, excuse me, with Talk Skill. Uh, preach and Mimic Derivon, and then just throwable items. Uh, short Charge, Oracle of White Magic, Yinane Magic, Spell Absorb, Zombie, Sleep, and then Cure 3, Race 2, Nasuna, and then a um, Poking Scholar that hurts for a ton, Steel Heart, Steel Accessory, and then uh, Melt. That's pretty much it, and then another one on Dante's team, I th oh yeah, we did see this team a few times, Rocky the Archer. Thorn, the Geomancer. Wanda, the Summoner. And Rose, the Priest. I think it was slightly updated. Um, you already seen this team. Two Sword. Uh, Archer here. Hits pretty hard. Um, well Balanced Geomancer. Uh, I think this is an Ultima using Summoner, I want to say. Short Charge Guts. And then a typical support priest. Alrighty. Alright, we're going to go to the map 14. The office of Lionel Castle. This is a super small map. So we shall see what happens. Uh, yeah, you can do that in this game. Carbono hits for okayish damage. And then zombie proc onto the summoner coming up. Okay, stop hits my chemist. Not good. She'll break onto the geomancer and then. Oh, HP restore on my scholar. That's ought to be a good thing, hopefully. 
Scott gets behind. Uh, doesn't quite kill the archer. See, what can the oracle do? Oracle has to go for a cure spell instead. Slow two. Hits pretty much everybody in range. So essentially hits the summoner. I'm not sure why my um Ooh, he can get rid of undead. Oh wow. Interesting. Oh, Skull does not get a HP restore this time. Charm misses, that kind of sucks. Although we do see an amp cure, my scholar's gonna finally Oh! She blocks that second shot. Giving the chemist a chance to fight back here. Oh, and misses. Oh, too bad. Too bad for me. Yeah, things are just not... Okay, we got a charm on the uh, archer that might work out in my favor. We'll see, though. No HP restored this time. We do see a Marisame whack, so that's a good thing. Ah, don't move, Proc. See, Charm the Geomancer connects. Hopefully Charm will help me out a little bit, perhaps. All right, Charm is so far buying me all the time I need. Tier three. Charm is starting to wear off. Mimic Derevon misses the priest. A quick raise one. And no HP restored this time. And my skull goes down. That archer is a little bit too fast, at least for uh, my skull to keep up with. Let's see, sleep. Well, it hits. One hits and two hits. Okay, so I got two sleeps in. Okay, slow misses the chemist. All right, stop is going to land on, land on the chemist, unfortunately. Raise two hits. No HP restore again. Ugh. This is not good for me right now. Not good. Oh my god. It's like I really can't get anything going right now. Oh, 
No HP restore again? And my skull walked into range of Ultima. Oh my god, really? Really? Oh boy. I won't be surprised if I lose round two either. This is not a good omen. It's like, now I'm cursed. Whenever I stream myself, I lose. Yeah, because from now on, I'm not streaming my own teams ever again after this. It's that bad. Ziggler's Swamp. Let's see how round two shapes up. Alright, so let's see. Triple panel, quicksand. Alright, auto potion. So canvas could just basically just shrug all that off. Quick poke from the scholar. Oh, she blocks zombie. Uh, the uh, Geo has a block zombie. That magic evade. Double stop proc. Ouch. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm going to be losing here again. Okay, Geomancer is dead at least, but I don't think it's going to matter too much. I sense another slaughterhouse coming up. Raise two does connect. Um, see quicksand, no on dead proc. A quick amp cure. The thing is, I really need to put that Archer to sleep, which doesn't work, unfortunately, because of, um, Abandon. And it's not going to matter, because Dante's going to eventually win. Now he's going to go insane. Uh, shield break didn't even hit. Okay, HP Restore does hit. 
See Mimic Derivon. Misses. Well, finally something happens. Uh, Oracle is doing the dumb thing as going closer to the archer where she could get punched in the face. Uh, why didn't you just move further away? Why? Oh my god. Well, I'm done after this. Um, there's really nothing I can honestly do. Oh no, I'm just uh, feeling a bit uh, wiped. Ultimate hits for 120. Right on the Geomancer who immediately gets a turn. Ish Restore. Let's see, Zombie. I mean, I'm not sure if it's just polishing that I need or if it's just plain bad luck. That's the only thing I'm just not really sure of. The first team, probably more polishing. Let's do quick sand. Okay, double block. Uh, looks like my team is still somehow in this, despite all this. And absorb MP is still becoming a thing. All right, no HP restore this time, and I think my luck has just finally ran out. Yeah, I, I, I knew I was going to lose. I just knew it. Oh, great. Now I've come undead myself. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for me at this point.
her charm wore off. Ah, uh, Steel Accessory, of course, and she's dead. Yep, I knew it. I've cursed myself tonight. Got my ass kicked left, right, and center. Uh, oh well, what are you gonna do? Well, that's pretty much it for tonight. Hope you all enjoy the stream. Have a good night.